welcome to Binge Pipe. I'm your host, Michael Riley. With me is Jason Amherst. Hi. And Ashley Miller. <clears throat> Hello. And again, a little bit of an explanation if you did, for whatever reason, watch the last couple. Uh, we recorded uh, a, uh, two episodes of What to Dub, but the first one, unfortunately, was eaten by OBS. And then Dane had to leave after our second episode record. So we're doing You Don't Know Jack full stream. Uh, that way we don't have to fucking think very much anymore. I mean, we'll still have to think. It just won't have to be funny. Um, I'm getting in here. Binge Pipe was founded uh, in it, my brain broke. by an isolated group of druids dedicated oh, yeah. to the idea Probably that someday the, the media on. landscape would be ready for a glut of streaming service options. Oh, we're, we're going to have to think all right. We're, we're going to have to think long and hard. We're still going to have to think. It's just oh, you guys are going to win this one. Hey, uh, we'll phrasing! <laughs> I have Long never won. Type is lashing out against its parents by bringing back what? You Don't what? Know Jack. Binge Pipe. Uh, no crimes have been proven. <laughs> I'm Cookie Masterson, and the day I give up this job is the day I die. At least that's what Binge No, I have never won You Don't Know Jack. He's going to be doing this till he's 90. Probably. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, you're, you're actually... He actually appears in a viewer-submitted clip in Fibbage 4 in one of the uh, yeah, predetermined episodes. I, I thought that was pretty funny. All right, here we go. So we, everybody knows what he looks like now. Question one. Question one. First question. A patronizing saint. All right. What's an example of me mansplaining a Michael Mann movie? Oh, boy. Okay, Jurassic Park is about a dinosaur theme. Um, Fight Club is about a group that fights oh, each other. Shit. Gladiator is I'm about a Roman sure. gladiator. Or The Last that? of the Mohicans is... Uh, but I don't remember. I know it's... I know what it isn't. Okay, who chose what? Fight Club is not Michael Mann. <laughs> No. Yeah, let me mention that is also not my cat was Kevin Costner here, directed Michael that Mann one. Only directed the last of the Mohicans. Oh, maybe not. Never mind. I thought I thought Kevin oh. Costner directed that. You're thinking of Dances with Wolves. Oh yeah, I was. Shit. Here's one I like to call. Our movie science has finally gone too far. What giant monster movie would tower just above Jurassic Park Fallen Kingdom I sense, on the hierarchy I of sense a theme here. There's Jurassic Park in two episodes, Godzilla, two Devil's questions. Domain, King Kong, Royal Family, um, Pacific Rim, First Class, shit. or Cloverfield, Out of Order. God damn it. Uh, I think it's that, but I, I don't know. Okay. Oh, crap. Shit. It turns out the real monster is being wrong. Oh, uh, shit. It shouldn't be this hard. Domain is one step above kingdom on oh, the taxonomic okay. classification yeah. hierarchy. So, radioactive dinosaur is just above regular dinosaur, but they're both below shirtless. I love my first shit. autopsy. Shit, so I... I got negative points for not answering, even though I yeah. didn't know the answer. Yep. You and can't now, just not answer. Look at you, son of a bitch. Lock, and it's a dis or dat. Dis or dat. Dis or dat. I'm going to read off seven things, and for each one, I want you to tell me if it's a movie starring Jennifer Oh, fuck. Lopez, oh God. Or a skincare product by... Oh, Lopez. boy. All right. <laughs> ...to choose between a J-Lo movie or skincare. And you're all doing all right. this together, so look alive. All set? Here we go. Out of sight. Yay. All right. Me. Oh, fuck. Damn it. Just release me. Damn it. When hope it. is not enough. Damn it. Damn it. Shit. Plan. These all sound like Jailer movies. <laughs> Yay. God, I right. bit the dust now, on that one. The majority of you deserve my praise. But player two, you just plain sucked at that dis or dat. Thanks, Cookie. 
Proactive measures have been enacted for customers. I get a screw. Photography. Looks like it's screw time. <laughs> that is the truth, Cookie. You Using get a screw. Makes it harder for. We know how okay, screws work. Don't complain if you get confused later. We care enough so you don't leave us. A train in the schniz. My favorite. Four. <laughs> Question needs some space, Brian. Where about Bob? You know how Bill Murray likes to show up at random places and surprise people with his dry wit and overabundance of public goodwill? Well, if Bill Murray just randomly showed up on the Murray River, who would he likely be surprising? Uh, an unsuspecting Irish wedding party, an unsuspecting English yoga class, an unsuspecting Canadian golf course staff, or an unsuspecting Australian bachelor party? Okay, I'm let's not take sure. a look. The Murray River is Australia's okay. longest river and the third longest navigable river in the world. Navigable. <laughs> Even Ain't that right, Adam? Are bigger than ours, but oh, that's right, Jason. In the reboot of Ghostbusters. I'm so not there. even joking. Barfly Beretta. I'm addicted to lasers. Hey, look, it's hologram. It is. Up next. First, I'd like to spank the Academy. Uh. Which movie won an Oscar for Best Picture in 2006? A film with this. Oh, here it comes. <laughs> My friends, player two has unleashed the screw. And I think the rest of you are starting to go gray. Um. You have to tell me what the uh, screw did to you guys. Let's it grayed out it all of our answers. grayed everything out. Let's nice. Don't pick that one. A group of rhinos is called a crash, and the Paul Haggis nice. crash won Best Picture nice. in 2006. I mean, that is Jay still got it right, even though he was being screwed, but still. <laughs> I'm back out of the negatives. But Brokeback Mountain should have won. Okay, I've said it. It's it's done. Yeah, that screw is a good move, player two. I believe this belongs to you. I can still get points out of that since it did mess up actually. Round one is over. Here's who's going to live the longest. I mean, current score rankings. Current yeah. Jace is winning. Lead. Ashley's probably going to get a screw now. Player three, on the other hand, you're negatively affecting our averages. Your performance has triggered the need for another screw. Round two screws are more powerful, and they'll net you more cash. So, uh, uh, yeah, Ashley could get an advantage here with her screw. That thing. The rest of you better answer fast if you don't want to be screwed. Oh, and did I mention double all points. the money's doubled in round double two? Double points. Time and fun stops for no one. Here we go. Ew. Not a parade. Oh, here's a good one. Getting real for a second. All right. Which PC keyboard command produces a symbol that looks like my cat's butthole? Shift plus one, shift plus three, shift plus five, or shift plus eight? Me. Come on, literally, really? Literally, we're all literally looking at our keyboards, I think. I mean, if we're not on a phone. Right. But I have my laptop literally in front of me because we're recording this show, so. I'm it's sitting kind of at a fair. PC. Yeah. Shift plus eight creates an asterisk, a.k.a. a cat butthole. Okay. <laughs> it's I only know, fair that we I all know. got that right. Finally, so the modern centaur is a freaking shirtless dude on an ATV. Sure, why not? Code legs and Upside down butt shaped pizza is my favorite. Coming up next, Don has an idea for the work outing. Okay. And uh oh, dress Stress hut slits, I'm slower. It's time for. It's time for. Lick your, lick your lick piss, piss nose cum. Nose cum. Remember to type quick. Got a rhyme. She'll be counting down until you lock in an answer. Okay, here it comes. Look at this gibberish phrase and tell me what common internet phrase. A common it internet phrase with. it rhymes with. Bowling dawn. Uh, more staffing. And don't get hung up on that punctuation. Uh. That is so amusing. Ah! God damn it, learn to type. How do I initiate the screw? Hey, you can't in this you question. On this. Oh. Yeah, you can't do it on gibberish. On a regular question, it'll be below the choices. You can hit it. I don't 
don't, I don't fucking. Swing gymnastics. Damn it! I don't fucking know this one. It's rolling on the floor, laughing. I decided to wait until it was under a thousand to tell you the answer. Cause I, I don't want you guys to just okay, get nothing. Ah. Uh, Let's get on yep. with it, shall we? How I got rabies. Next up, The Legend of Zelda's Epidural. <laughs> Say there wow. were a video game in which the player's goal was to successfully go through labor. What instructions would pop up on the third <laughs> stage of the game? I believe that's the next Death Press Stranding game. Baby <laughs> oh, look out. oh, fuck. All right. Player three decided to screw. Let's turn those frowns upside down. Uh, well, luckily I can read upside down, so this doesn't really yeah. affect me. Yeah, I can read this upside one. down, so that's nothing. Yep. Not a very good screw, Jackbox. So who got it? The placenta is expelled during the third stage Damn. of labor. See, that I did not know. Also, yeah. This game would cost how how did we know it, and you didn't, and you have the tools to be able to do the shit like that? <laughs> uh, because I've never been pregnant. That's, I guess that's size. fair. Type the school system fails. Bracket, oh, there's a, yeah, there's a special my question. school system fails. For data mining. Data mining. I've been told Binge Pipe loves all of its users uh, equally. But can you help us separate our celebrity user data from the rest of the normals? Is Rat Pack available? Is Kendaman available? Is Murbaging available. Murbaging? <laughs> Whose DMV search history have we acquired? <laughs> Sammy Davis Jr., Bobby Darin, Frank Sinatra, or Louis Armstrong? Oh, you know what? I think I picked the wrong one. Now that I'm re-re-re-reading it, I think it's out. actually Louis Armstrong. I'm sure you meant well. It's not. Sammy Davis oh, Sammy Jr. Davis. was a member of the Rat Pack and famous for singing The Candyman and Mr. Bojangles. Dane would be ashamed of me right now. Mr. Davis Jr. was not a real rat, but like 85% of our users, he was a mammal. <laughs> gotta live, gotta no live, gotta shit. live in person. Winnie the Uninsurable. Oh. Coming up, piece of S. Which of these lists in order a star, a mood, a podcast, and a grain? Okay. Serious, cereal, serious, cereal, serious, serious, cereal, cereal, serious, serious, cereal, cereal, or cereal, cereal, serious, serious. That's this one. I have to think about it. Yeah. Hope you like what you picked. Sirius is a star, Sirius is a mood, cereal is a podcast, and cereal is what depressed adults have for dinner. <laughs> I was going to try nah. to get Cerberus the dog and Professor Snape in there somehow, and then I thought, no, Cookie, you give too much already. Time for the jack attack. Wow. Wow. How generous wow. of you, Cookie. The generous jack attack. Cookie. It's time for the attack. We know how the jack See, attack works. Oh, as I talk Remember the game. clue. There's no clue. I in team. Careful. Any answer with the letter I in it will automatically be wrong. Oh, shit. Oh, my. Ah! Oh, okay, well. Shit. Oh, shit. Uh. Ha! Ah! Clever. Yes. Yeah, Ant-Man, Thor, and Falcon are Avengers. Iron Man is also, but it's got an eye in it. Space Jam Team. Oh. It. It's, uh... The correct answers with no eye in them are Bugs, Lola, and Foghorn. The A-Team. Hannibal Lecter, yep. wonderful person. It's uh, Face, B.A. Baracus, and Murdoch. Hannibal's also on the A team, but it's got an eye in it. Field Dreams Ghost Team. I don't freaking know these. Oh, 
it. Ah, no. I believe it's just Shoeless Joe and Buck Weaver. Yeah. Gryffindor Quidditch team. Oh, shit. Okay. It's uh, Harry, Jenny, and Griffin. That's the only ones that without eyes in them that are right. Or, I'm sorry, not Griffin, but Ron. Oh, Dean Connor. Team America. Shit. America! Nice. It's uh, Joe, Sarah, Jerry Johnson, and Spotswood. This was a challenging jack that attack. Was a, that was a challenging jack attack. Hey, uh, Ashley, you got out of the negatives at least. Nice. Nice score. Yeah, Actually, I'm declaring Ashley the, the Ashley the winner because she got Ashley's the winner. Yep. I, I owe a 69, dude. Yep. Um, no, I, I hate being in the negative. Yep. So I, my goal was to just try to get as much as I could on the jack attack. The game is saying Chase is the winner, but I'm declaring Ashley the winner. The score, yeah. No, I'm I'm declaring Ashley the winner as the winner. Yes. Sure, we're just so an yes. island of talking horses. All right, uh, yeah. Treat our island Playing again, let's do it. What? Were you all raised in a barn? Wow, at this point, every Jack, you don't know Jack game is going to take 20 minutes. Well, actually, that only took about 15, so we'll probably get three or four in. Yeah, true, true. End of written intro. Jeez, with this <laughs> end of written intro. <laughs> Let's do it. Ow. Okay, no turning back. It's time for question one. one. To begin with, masked flu satyrs. But. Oof. Icky superhero is most likely to be a carrier of Lyme disease. Oh, um, man, Ant Man, Spider Man, or the. <laughs> what? That's an easy one. Lyme disease is a tick borne disease. Spoon! Spoon! Diseases are why I avoid shared superhero <laughs> universes. Can't wait for that to show up on the uh, SNES roulette. Oh, the tick? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, evil too. This one's called. I go for the robot sex, but I stay for the heavily telegraphed plot twists. <laughs> Not either fuck. What should HBO title a Westworld spin-off if the producers wanted the title to contain an ordinal direction? Eastworld, Upworld, Southwestworld, or Leftworld? <laughs> and how'd we do? You will recover from this. Damn it. The ordinal directions on a compass, oh. also known as the intercardinal directions, are southwest, northwest, northeast, and southeast. I couldn't remember as what ordinal meant. World, the <laughs> I knew cardinal directions. I knew that. So what I knew wasn't east. Legal in some parts of it. Dads who nap at the kids without rights home. It's a good show. Here we have Mademoiselle Pac-Man. <laughs> Maze you don't need Madness. A joystick to play this dessert at. Oh boy! Oh, I wonder what this will be. I'm gonna read off seven fruits and for seven each one fruit. Of oh, it's events, gonna be it's a flavor, flavor of Lacroix or Pac-Man fruit. Water, an item in Ms. Pac -Man, or both. Or both. Don't think too hard. I'm only That's one or the other or both. Decide between Lacroix, Ms. Pac-Man. Or both. And you're all doing this uh, together. Okay. So pay attention. Here this will be interesting. Boring. Yeah. Oh, that's... Yeah, I'm say definitely both. Lemon. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Not in this uh, thing. I was going say, that's only in this pack, man. Bingo. Uh, I think it's just LaCroix. Yep. Cherry. Uh, definitely both. Oh, what? There's no Cherry LaCroix? I'm surprised. Okay. Okay. 
Wow. Most of you deserve a high five. Jace on gets that. a screw. A player one, you really dropped the ball. Actions have been taken. I am shocked that there's no Cherry LaCroix. Yeah, I know. Yeah. By the presence you would think. How is there? That's one of the. That's a fucking water. popular flavor. I'm, I'm shocked. shocked. I'm drinking a Cherry Pepsi right now. <laughs> I mean, like, so, I, I drink, like, freaking cherry obituary, uh, uh, uh liquid death. Liquid death yeah. all the time. What's that peach flavor that you have all the time, Ash? Let's try a little bit uh, of rest and peach. Rest, rest and peach, yeah. She drank two empowering. cans of that the That's other, the other last weekend when I picked her up for band. wrestling. Which of these moves could I actually do in my burlesque class? Okay. Shimmy out of my shimmy, shake out of my shake, bump out of my bump, or jiggle out of my jiggle. Uh... That? I'm not entirely sure. Four, three, two. I love this part. Time to it's either shimmy or shake. Points. It's not shake. So it must be shimmy. shimmy is another word for shimmies or That's what I was having difficulty with too, Jason. I was like, is it shimmy or shake? And I can't tell which is which. Fuck. Shimmy is also a dance move that is very seductive. I picked the right one, thank God. It's a close fucking game right now. Ashley and I are tied for first, and Jace is only $600 behind. There is no hiding from, can we say ass? Sure can. Yes, we can say ass. <laughs> Who's a real ass face? Nick Bottom from a Midsummer Night's Dream. Um, Pros What's this? Oh, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Player one just let loose a screw. Let's get this question trending. Are you fucking kidding me with this bullshit? Turned it all into hashtags. Oh my god, really? What'd you guys pick? Yeah. You... Did a bad job. It, it turned it all into hashtags and add some stupid slang dream, at the end. Nick Bottom has his head magically transformed into that of a donkey, aka an ass. <laughs> Which is why his name is Bottom. <laughs> Makes sense. Shakespeare was real good at the crude hum humor. Yep. Round one is history. Let's see who deserves my love. Currently, player two is in the lead. It's not insurmountable yet for Ashley. Ashley's going to get a screw hand, here, but she can definitely you. come back. Please let yep. me in. The As data we have acquired demonstrates a need for an additional screw. And keep in mind, round two screws have crazier effects. Plus, they earn you a bigger bonus for each player that gets the question wrong. So don't forget to use that thing. The rest of you better answer quick or you'll end up screwed. Oh, and uh, remember, questions yep. are worth twice as much in round Each one's two. worth two grand so now. Is, so is Cookie bald? No. No. Oh, so he got hair? Yeah. Next, RuPaul the Day. Uh. I had one complaint about reality TV. It's too many humans and not enough mechanized flying machines. If the next season of RuPaul's Drag Race focused exclusively on airplanes, how could contestants reduce drag while staying fierce? Change direction um, and work the runway, decrease surface friction in stiletto heels, jettison all cargo with a smoky eye, or fly over water and accessorize. I think I had it between two, and I hope I picked the right one. Hurry I'm pretty sure three. of this one. And how do we do? The less yeah. surface friction, the less drag. It was either that or fly over water, but I, I was pretty sure it was the surface friction. Of course, RuPaul would Easy enough. be human. <laughs> Sky sure jerks. Sky jerks! <laughs> I think I know what I did on an airplane. Oh, I love the $10,000 touch your nose challenge. I would clean up on that. I call this one... Headphoning it in. Pipe customer satisfaction feel. This is a specialty I category. I had to say that out loud. Yep. Binge Pipe recommends... Because your LinkedIn profile shows you took a job in Silicon Valley after taking time off playing house and working in the office, okay. you might enjoy Thomas Middleditch. I was going to say, I Star, think I know exactly Mello where Nagiani, we're going with this, and I think it's Zach Woods. that one. I hope I just put press the right one. Cause I think I pressed the right one, but I'm not sure. Yeah, but my finger glid gl glided over my phone, so I wasn't, I'm not sure if I picked the one I meant to pick. I guess we'll Hope find you out. like what you picked. Um, that is not. Nope. 
Look, nobody got it. Let's skip to the end. Zach Wood. So I meant to pick Kumail. I think I accidentally House, picked Martin Starr. It doesn't matter, I guess. <laughs> cool. Oh, you son of a bitch, game. Matt Gala 2020. Not try. <laughs> nice try, officer. And hey. Oh, stress touch, skid sky and blore. It's time for us. Snickers Glish restroom. Here we go. Think fast on this one. The longer you take, the less cash you make. Okay, focus up. Check out this gibberish phrase and let me know what movie line it rhymes with. Movie line. Smell some glue. You're classic, narc. And don't let that punctuation trip you up. Greetings from... I got it. The world of the dinosaur. That really should be the one that gives it to you. Yep. Do you still not? Oh, that was gonna say. Does Ash still not know? <laughs> Welcome to Jurassic Park. Oh well wow! Done. I even spelled it right too. Yes. I even nice. put the proper pronun uh, punctuation on the end of it. <laughs> I even put an exclamation point. Take a good look at Portugal, the man, the band, <laughs> a plan, a canal, Panama. <laughs> if the oddly named band Portugal, the man, went on tour in Portugal, the country, what larger region would they also be visiting? Lisbon, the capital, the United uh, Kingdom. Brace yourself. Oh, this is easy. This is uh, easy. Player three used that screw. How's I feel like I feel like you might. Well, we'll see. Yeah, that might not a have been the right. Time. My PC, but right. I knew the answer. Yeah, it might not have been the right time to use that Let's screw. That actually, I'm out. afraid. Nope. Only Portugal is not screw. in South America. Ashley, I don't know why you thought that. Along with Spain and you, you were I screwing a Portuguese man on a question about Portugal. Excuse me. <laughs> I just wanted that what? sentence to stop at you're screwing a Portuguese man. <laughs> Wait, Jace, are you Portuguese? Yes! I'm half Portuguese! I for, don't Wait, I never knew that. Language. If cows work like coffee beans, which are I mean, in fairness, you're using a stage name. It would be kind of hard to tell unless we, like, met you. But we've only seen you in person once. Uh, I don't know. I don't drink coffee. Okay, let's take a look. Need a hug? Yeah. The darker God the bean, the less caffeine. And the more beef in my coffee, the better. Mmm, beefy. <laughs> I'm a coffee oh, baby, know. yeah! Alright. Jack attack. I always thought the fucking dark roast. Mated to the attack. To, when you to be fair, even if I used my mother's maiden oh, name sorry. as my stage name, no it doesn't sound very Portuguese, so. That's fair. School. Pick the students that attended these educational facilities. Alright, you're picking the a... students that attended these educational facilities. Nope. Ah, oh, crap. Shit, I don't. Outside of oh, one, crap. like, I don't know. I recognize the names, but. Yeah, outside of one, I don't know any miss... of these. It's uh, Cho Chang, Harry Potter, and Cedric Diggory. Riverdale! Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Shit. Shut up, Wesley. <laughs> it's uh, Veronica, Josie, and Betty. Josie and the Pussycats. I forgot about that. Ivy League school. Uh, it's... Shit. Harvard, Cambridge, Princeton, and Yale. No, Harvard, Brown, Princeton, oh, and Yale, sorry. Greendale Community College. I don't know. Yeah, I don't either. Oh, wait, yeah. Okay. Community. Oh, oh. I see. Uh, Jeff Winger, Abed Nadir, and Britta Perry. Starfleet Academy. Son of a bitch. Oh, oh. dang it. 
Like, oh, I'll know these. I'm a Star Trek guy. Damn it. I've never heard of the other three, so... I picked the three that I was sure, 100% uh, sure. Jean-Luc Picard, James D. Kirk, and Catherine Janeway. All captains! Shermer High School. Um... Um, oh, okay, I see. Um, yeah, there's a lot of... John Hughes used that name a lot. It's Ferris Bueller, Weird Science Breakfast Club, and Sixteen Candles. All John Hughes movies, by the way. <laughs> All set in the same high school, apparently. Yep. Wow. Player one takes it! God fucking damn it. Yeah, Jace, yeah, Jace wins that one. one. I'm glad it was only a hundred. You did know you were the underdog, right? I know. It's just I hate being in the negatives. It's all right. I it's hate only a hundred. It's just a stupid trivia game. It doesn't matter. None yeah. of this matters. Do Do you really Do you really owe Jackbox money? Right. Even if you want it, like it's not. It, what is it? You're not gonna like put it on your resume or anything. Jace isn't going to go on his resume yeah. and be like, hey, I won 800 games of, uh, you know, Jack, full stream. Hire Hi, me. I'm Cookie Masterson, and since that genie got my wish horribly It's just wrong, trivia. I will That's why it's called trivia. Yeah, I know. I just trivial. don't like being in the exactly. negative because the negative is like, ugh, goddammit. Speaking of trivial, has anybody uh, seen the new Trivial mind. Pursuit game with LeVar Burton? No, uh, is it any yet. good? It, yes, okay. it is very good, Real actually. Now. I really like it. First up, you can have the remote when I'm dead. Fair. They say we're yeah. living in a golden age of television, and there's no better time to appreciate this than when a stringy-haired demon girl is going to crawl out of it and strangle you. Oh, fuck. Say you accidentally watch the cursed VHS tape from The Ring. Okay. Which show could you binge watch in the time you have left before you die? Oh, um... Every episode of Friends, every episode of the original Law and Order, every episode of Star Trek The Next Generation... Oh, man. Every episode of Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. These are all so close in episode numbers, though. Wild guess. It's insane. India. No, you're dead, and it's probably Wesley's fault. <laughs> the curse in the ring gives you one week to live, which is enough time to watch all 236 okay. half-hour episodes of Friends. Oh, that's right, though. Yeah, Friends is only 30 minutes, and the and rest of those knows, shows are an hour Genesis long. Laugh could frighten off mm. before she gets to you. Oh, the time is meow. Oh, I love that. Oh, Our, orange is the, 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 the new flame oh, retardant. <laughs> Ladder humpers. <laughs> My favorite. Here's one for you. <laughs> when life gives you Lululemons. Oh, Christ. All right. How would Socrates respond to my assertion that leggings are pants? Uh, leggings are just leggings. Leggings are pants, but not in the office. But are all pants leggings? Uh, leggings you know what? I'm not entirely pants. sure. Okay. What'd Wild you pick? guess on my part. Um, You might be thinking of Yoda. <laughs> Greek philosopher Socrates was famous for using. All right, we're all back to zero. Ask a series of <laughs> yeah. In order to find a communism works. The original belief. In theory. <laughs> Just like how oh, I Spunky. Oh, that's a great say, image for Spunky. Really spunky. <laughs> British shows about disturbing murders. Yeah. Behold, I was enslaved by mad scientists. And judging by the movie sign, it's a diss or dat. Oh, boy. I'm going to read off seven titles, and for each one, I want All you right. to tell me if it's a B-movie spoofed by Mr. Oh, Science fuck. Theater 3000. Oh, Jesus. Or an erotic novel written by... Oh, oh Jesus. God. Think fast. Right. You'll only get They've never read Whitney Fox, but I have right. seen Mystery Science Theater. <laughs> well, you'll still go do good, because you know what isn't an MST3K show okay, episode. Let's do it. By dragons. Um, yeah. The sinister urge. That's a Rob Zombie album. <laughs> the touch of Satan. Oh. Ah. Dang it. My woolly mammoth boyfriend. That's <laughs> got gotta be. Yeah, that's the same. Gotta be. I was a teenager. Oh, werewolf. for fucking sure, that's <laughs> MST3K. Saber tooth lover. <laughs> Saber tooth lover. Billionaire mummy likes booty. Are you fucking kidding me with this title? Mo 
supposed to. Damn, Ash. A group hug. Now let's keep going. No screws because we all got at least six. Ashley, Ashley scored on that Cleaned one. Cleaned up on that. Yeah. Seven out of seven. Good job. How about this one? Uh, I've seen enough mystery science theater. I was going to say, those were on par with Chuck Tingles. Yes, absolutely. Pound, pounded in the butt by a saber tooth tiger. Three pitchforks. Uh, I, I don't. I don't know my Greek alphabet well enough. Uh, hurry, Jace. Uh, so who got it? Bad job. Nope. Psi is the 23rd letter of the Greek alphabet, and it looks either like a little pitchfork or a little trident. Ah. Uh. Psi, Psi, Psi okay. is my mom Man. said when she saw my I got that in at the last second. Yeah. Oh, stop motion erotica, my favorite. Most disturbing lock screen wallpapers. This one's known as <laughs> the mysteries of language, bro. Bro. What would be an example of semantic satiation using the word CrossFit? <sighs> Being unable to remember the word CrossFit, substituting CrossFit for every word in your vocabulary, losing the ability to learn new words other than CrossFit, or saying CrossFit so many times it loses all meaning. I said Jimmy, you jill her so okay, much the words have lost all watch. meaning. Semantic satiation means saying a word yep. so many times your brain no longer Yeah, I didn't know what it meant, but I could I could uh, fathom it from the answers. You do CrossFit. Can we talk about something else for once? Yeah, thanks, Seth Rollins. <laughs> Say goodbye to round one. The Vegas bookmakers need to see the current scores. Currently, Jesus. One is in the lead. Well, I, I I will say it's definitely not where I expected to be hand, in this episode. I get the apple. screw. It's the this or that. Going gets yeah, it tough. was. It was the, the tough dis gets another screw. And remember, round two screws screw even harder. And you'll net more cash. Alter lady is into monster so sex. Do not be afraid Who knew? To use that thing. The rest of you better answer fast before you. As Lord knows, I didn't. Oh, and by the way, all the cash in round two is. Double. I don't think anybody you walks around with that in their head as common really? knowledge. I'll be honest, it's Ashley. <laughs> I certainly didn't either. Six crumbles is not a parade. There is no hiding from, I'd like to formally apologize for what we're about to do here. Uh-oh. Who's about to blow their load? Mm. Someone setting dynamite next to their house foundation? Someone I'm setting not dynamite on this one. next to their I think it's too easy. closet? Someone setting dynamite next to their lower legs? Or someone setting dynamite next to Maybe their Maybe it's not as easy cost. as I thought it was. Who picked what? A load to say. is an ore deposit. I was going to say, that sounded so way too easy for me. <laughs> Honestly, whatever you do with your ore deposits. <laughs> Suddenly, Sucrose is standing beside me. The wire for kids. <laughs> that would be type funny. Equals oh, data mining. Mystery, comma, data fiddle, mining. Squiggly bracket. Exclude all cookies, click the cash. It's time for data mining. Hey, so, Always uh, love the, the music in the You Don't Know Jack games. They say they acquired legally. Is that right? Yes, that's right. Can you help us figure out the identity of the user based on the song playlist they were creating? Okay. Say la vie. Faith. Girl on the fire. Whose playlist have we acquired? Oh. Curie, Jean oh, uh, 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 it's Simon this. It's easy, Ashley. Think about it. That was so easy. That's very easy, Ashley. I can't think of it. French woman set on fire? Yeah. Joan of, Ar Joan of Arc. Oh. Joan of Arc. Son of a bitch. <laughs> was French tried for her faith I didn't see it until just yeah it it's because they wrote it just because yeah, they put her real name we prefer to call it yeah, yeah. Retro. the pro the protagonist of perfect dark Joanna dark hey, yep. players choice hey, oh shit. Like to a moment of playful interactivity would you like a tricky question mm. or a blunt question use your device to select your preference the choices have been made a tricky question. And now we'll All fulfill right. our promise and deliver your content. The Valentine's Day Massacre of the Musical. <laughs> <laughs> Looks oh, like Cuphead. A, a tricky yeah. question. 
Which of these novels was named after a person who does magic tricks? Robinson Crusoe, Anna Karenina. Well, well. Player two has invoked the screw. Who else is tired of these boring old names? I, I'm using the screw here because I think this will trick will actually trip you guys up. It, just it looks like it's obvious, but I don't think it is. Sleeve, except... <laughs> yes, but yeah, as I was gonna say, these books were named I got Ashley on that one because I figured she would pick David Copperfield. Copperfield who was born in not, it's not the magician David, the David Copperfield. Published. The different David Told Copperfield. Because I don't think that that was actually his name anyway. Oh, and I no, I, I don't believe it was. It really suits you. Nice job, Ono. Oh, no. That's because I couldn't. It, it, yeah. Yep, Coming nope, that next, is not his real legal name. Pebbles. Hey, what's in your butt? Um, the occipital muscle, the piriformis muscle, the teres major muscle, or the uh, psychomatic muscle? Oh, God. I'm going to think about fucking biology. Yeah, I'm going to have to guess. I'm going to have to guess. I know what one. it isn't. I can tell you what it's for sure 100% it's not. Three, two. It's not mm -hmm. occipital because that's in the head. The teres major muscle yeah. is in your shoulder. That's AKA your shoulder, yeah. The butt of the torso. Zygomatic is not either. The piriformis muscle okay. is located deep in the butt. So I had it down between piriformis and zygotic. How and deep? I can pick about as one deep as that Admiral Akbar Magnifying glass hand model. Interesting. Middle school. Huh. <laughs> I remember Ralph. I remember Ralph. Gorsh. Why does that look vaguely like Matt Pat? Here we have. It does a little bit. What's the deal with this joke setup? But that's just a theory. What would be the name of a web series where Jerry Seinfeld picks up different comics in a truck on the way um, to grabbing a fermented drink? Comedians in sailboats getting horchata. Comedians uh, in lorries getting kombucha. It's comedians this. in carriages getting That's an easy one. Or comedians in hot air balloons. <laughs> Especially yeah. if you know British Next. slang. A lorry is a truck, and kombucha is a fermented sweet tea. And comedian is another word for unemployed, like according to my mother. <laughs> <Oof>. <laughs> a bullshit artist. Jack attack. Jack attack. It, uh, this is actually a close oh, one between oh, Jason and I. We have 1,500 between us. Here's your clue. Just add land. Just add land. Which land. piece can you add land to land and to. have it fit? Watch okay. Have it fit. Countries. Oh, damn it. <laughs> That's Erland. <laughs> dang it. Ah, uh, that would be lands. Uh, it's yeah. Ire Ireland, Poland, and uh, Swaziland. Swaziland is yep. inside in South Africa. Oh, dang it. Oh, his name is misspelled. Oh. Uh. Oh wait, yeah, that works. No, it doesn't. Oh my lord! Oh my lord! It's, uh, wow. Timbaland and Misty Copeland. Everything else was misspelled or wrong. Oh, <laughs> I'm just Scott clicking Pilgrim too versus fast. The land. Oh, that's world. That's world. Yeah. It's uh, Adventureland, Alice in Wonderland, uh, La La Land, and Zombieland. Sections of Disneyland. Oh fuck! I've never been to Disney. Donkey Land. I love Donkey Land. Oh, oh, it's my fuck. It's uh, tomorrow, Happy future, World tomorrow, Land. frontier, and fantasy. Nouns. <laughs> That's not a noun. Fuck. <laughs> Land. I want to splanned. Splanned. <laughs> uh, Garland, Island, and uh, Gland. Gland. Song titles. What? Oh, that's not actually the name of the song. Oh, Duh. fuck. Yeah, it's Baba O'Reilly. Yeah. 
Uh, land of a Thousand Dances, Stranger of a Strange Land, and this land is your land. That was a tricky one. That was one. tricky, yeah. Hey! Well, we've all won one now. Oh, I actually changed your name, too. Yep. Still, you and I both yes. You don't know how this ends. You don't know, Jack! One more. Let's do it. Binge Pipe wants to be more... Binge Pipe. Lisa got my name back. Oh, did it change your name back? Bad. You got your name back? Okay. Yes. I was wondering about yes. that. I was wondering if you'd be oh no for the rest of the episode. Hello, I'm pop, Cookie Master Sid. Pop, 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 just like pop, this game, pop, 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 I've been aged to pop, perfection. Pop, 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 I can just tell pop, pop, from your pop, names pop, pop, that each of you is delightful company on a promenade. Mm. The fuck does that mean, Cookie? Yeah. Let's we'll we'll get day. going, Kiki, and get some flavored ices. Time it's time for one. question one. Kicking things off, I always cry during Pixar questions. <laughs> the boy from Coco traded his guitar for a Japanese instrument with 13 strings. Oh. What do you call the movie? It's Coco uh, with Koto, Coco with a Dogo, Coco with a Mobo, or Coco with an Obo. That? I was actually thinking uh, Shamison for some reason, but I think that's only got one string. Okay, let's take a look. No, Shamison has uh, three. Okay. <laughs> A koto Shit. has 13 strings yeah. and a rectangular shape. I don't know why I was thinking koto and I should have went with it. To connect you with your dead ancestors. I don't really know. I gave up after two lessons. How Magic I Spitty Flying Machine. Calm down, Blake. How I met your granddaughter. Let's try. Is that a gyroid in your pocket? Animal Crossing? Animal Crossing character would not be able to store the mobile game Animal Crossing Pocket Camp in its own pocket. Alice the Koala, Leaf the Sloth, Marcy the Kangaroo, or Pascal the Otter. Um. um. Wild guess. I, say, I think it's basically okay, asking which animal watch. doesn't have a pocket. This is interesting. Marcy the kangaroo is a kangaroo. You know, the animal that most famously has a pocket on its yeah. body. Come Kangaroos on. have pockets. Otters are not marsupials. Correct. Oh, okay, yeah. It was basically asking which one is not a marsupial. Store rocks and food. <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit. Moths don't have pockets or pouches. Never mind. They're also really smart. I thought Otter was right, and apparently it was not. No pants viewing. How do you know I'm not wearing pants now? This one's called. I just have to sniff the seat. Wives Club. Are we all gathered? Good. Dis or dat? Time for dis or dat. I'm gonna list off seven things, and for each one, I want you to tell me if it's a tagline from one of the Real Housewives oh of New York oh, City. Crap. Or oh shit! A quote from famous Fuck. first lady Eleanor Roosevelt. All right, fucking hell. hell. We're fucked. Uh, yeah. Real Housewives or Eleanor Roosevelt, and you're all doing this together, so look alive. <laughs> right? Good. <laughs> Happiness is not a goal; it's a byproduct. Okay. I never feel guilty about being privileged. Yep. No one can make you feel inferior without your consent. If you can't handle the truth, you can't handle me. Mm. I'm living the American dream one mistake at a time. <laughs> you really thought that was like Eleanor? A tea bag. You can't tell how strong she is until you put her in hot water. Oh, fuck. I plan for the future, but live in the moment. Wow. Oh, yeah. dang. Most of you nailed that. All right, let's All right. move on. No screws. No screws. I guess you'd have to be, like, under five in order to... Yeah. That was a lovely little montage of all the question Feast fours. Eyes upon this. Furry, adorable from Jack Justice. History. Picture it. Steve from Blue's Clues is wrongly charged with murder, and Blue must mount a desperate defense for the trial. What kind of clues is Blue looking for? Exculpatory evidence, inadmissible evidence, inculpatory evidence, or anecdotal evidence? Um...
Well, it's, it's only... I, I narrowed it down to between two. I hope I picked the right one. Three. All right. I love this part. That's evidence that literally can't be used in yeah, court. Yeah, that's... Bad dog. Like... <laughs> The most this wrong answer. <laughs> someone committed a crime. Imagine Blue walking into court with Steve's murder scrapbook. No, nope. so I had the right okay. one. Then. So yeah, that directly it was one of the other. Committed a crime. Yep. If anyone's going to jail, it's that mailbox. I mean, talk about a red flag. Substantial children. Interesting. The man from VHS. <laughs> Neon Ned and the Rave of Tomorrow. <laughs> Up next. That's just hologram again. There's a spoiler yep. at the end of this question. Uh-oh. Lenny dies at the end. Oh, crap. I read the wrong card. That was supposed to go at the end of the question. Um, okay, how about this? What classic work of literature did I just read? Oh, it's, um... For Whom the Bell Tolls. Of yeah. Lyson. Yeah. We all read this in school. <laughs> yep, George kills Lenny. To I want to pet the rabbits, George. <laughs> Yeah, it's a oh, sad aren't you talking about them rabbits, George? I am the de facto. I want to pet that That's the end of round one. Let's see them how the rabbits, game's shaping George. up. Oh, that's that's why uh, that's why Chunky's dead. Oh, uh, yeah. Player <laughs> three, on the other hand. Wow, you are really doing it. Poorly. I want to pet the rabbit, Stitty. And then there's so Chunky. Yeah, he's he's dead. dead. Screws are more powerful, and they'll net you more cash for each player that gets the question wrong. For a second, I thought you meant P Diddy, and I'm like, the why are there rabbits at a Diddy quicker, party? You'll end up screwed. <laughs> oh, and did I mention all the money is doubled? In this is I mean, how you're I supposed to fuck. Bones <laughs> <laughs> is not a parade. Coming up, Yacht Rock is timeless. If you like piña coladas, prove it. What kind of liquor are you going oh, shit. to need? Tequila, rum, gin, or uh, Hope you like I don't know alcohol. Uh, oh. oh, fuck. According oh. to the International Bartenders was a guess Association, I clicked way too fast, that's why. It consists of pineapple juice, coconut juice, and white rum. <laughs> Out of the negatives, I am. Congo's okay. the bartender. I just don't drink. Yeah. It's time for everyone in. You just don't drink, says connected. the guy who wrote dishes thirty-seven and, uh -oh, times. Yes, strut fits lime floor. We have proof it's of that. <laughs> There's a reason why I don't drink. Here we go. Get those typing fingers ready because the longer you rhyme. take, the less money you make. Okay, get ready. Check out this gibberish phrase and figure out what everyday expression it rhymes with. Big Kumail Shonda bled. And pay no attention to that punctuation. Uh. You got that right. God damn it. Boom! Wow. Yeah, it's because I had to back... I had to Excellent. fucking... Okay, pencils down. I'm... I had a typo. I had to backspace and fix it. <laughs> what? That's what she said. I don't watch Ruined by an English dub. Those are the best dubs. I call this one the fault in our star charts. God. I'm a staunch believer in science. Damn it. Which is the why office. I get tarot card readings from physics professors. <laughs> Which of these psychic predictions does not include one of the four fundamental forces of physics? Beware the gravity. Well, what do you know? Player oh, lovely. Three, just let loose a screw. <coughs> Finch Pike was going to make you read this eventually. Might as well be now. Oh, my fucking God. Oh. Boop. Boop. Oh, there's a second one? Okay, what'd you pick? Oh, damn it! It scrambled them! Wrong. Look, I'm not going to pretend any of you got this right. The answer was heat. is the fourth oh. fundamental force of the universe, not heat. I clicked the second well, one we because just gave, it was just the second the one on my screen. That's all right. We just gave Ashley a shitload of points, too, because that screw sideways. worked out for nice use of the screw inadvertently. Spend this wisely. <clears throat> 
It was only yeah, a thousand. Yeah, but I'm still in the negative. I thought it was more than that. Fumi, the robot, Fumi, who, the pukes, robot who pukes pu- money. Fucking Try pukes. <laughs> Type <laughs> equals data money. literature, comma, classic, squiggly bracket. Except all cookies don't clear your cash. It's time for data for money. money. In case you don't know, Binge Pipe needs help categorizing some ill-gotten data. Yes, Cookie. I can ask the question now. Do sisters be writing? <laughs> do heights be weathering? And is do Bruno I Mars does gay? <laughs> Whose search history have we acquired? It's um, it's this Emily one. Bronte, Jane Austen, or Louisa May Alcott? I'm Which one sure. of the bitches got tuberculosis? I just went off of Wuthering Heights, but I don't know if I, I'm now starting to second guess myself. Ah, oh, shit. Yeah. You got it. Emily Bronte nope, right. had okay, famous writer's God. sisters, wrote Wuthering <laughs> Heights, and died of tuberculosis. <laughs> which one did you pick? Which humans died of which I picked humans. fucking Jane Austen. Yeah, that's, that's, I was, when I started to second guess myself, I was like, is that actually Jane Austen? But no, it's Bronte. Brody Factory. Fucking no. Here's one for you. <laughs> we work hard. Soft we play rock. hard. We <laughs> we clop hard. Softest rock. The Telking Heads. Courtney Love. Uh, Arena and the Diamonds. Fucking hell. Is it? I don't know. What'd you guys pick? Talc is a one on the mineral hardness scale, which means you can scratch it with your fingernail. <laughs> And I was, I was, why didn't I go with my first guess? Because I was thinking Talcon Heads, Talcon Heads. God damn it. I just don't, I don't like being in the negatives. I don't care losing. I hate being negative. Here's your clue. I'm a phone home. Hopefully you know what words sound just like other words. Okay. Good luck. Right. That was very easy. Uh, so the answers are right, right, and right. Wait. Wrong. <laughs> Where? The answers are where and where. Yeah, I fucked up on one. Peak. <laughs> you just literally wrote the word? <laughs> one of the answers is literally the word? So it's uh, peak, peak, and peak. Pika. Meat. Meat and meat. <laughs> meat, 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 and meat. Meat, meat, and meat. Praise. <laughs> Not prairie. Shit. P R A Y S and P R E Y S. <laughs> you <Yeah. laughs> yeah, sure. Shit. Nope. Damn it. It is just I S L E and I apostrophe L L. I got max points. I didn't get a single one wrong. Same. Hey, at least I'm out of the negatives. I'm happy about that. Yay! I got an achievement for max points too, by the way. I probably would have gotten it regardless because you did it too, but I got it anyway. No, not like that. Okay, just asking. Thanks for joining us on this edition of Backseat Gamer. If you like what we do, please hit subscribe and be sure to hit the bell to be notified of upcoming videos. For Jason Amherst and Ashley Miller, I'm Mike Riley saying, see you next time. Good night, everybody.